Amen. But when desire cometh, it is a tree of life. Hope is the earnest expectation that is joined to desire. The earnest expectation, and it's joined to desire. Never neglect Jesus being centered of your life. The fact that, hey, he chose us before we chose him. Keep it in perspective. You didn't choose him and then he turned around and chose you. No, he chose you, then you chose him. He initiated the relationship with you. He initiated the relationship with you when you were broken. He initiated the relationship with you when you don't have anything to offer him. He said, I want a relationship with you. And as a result of that, you can never allow your heart to become Hopeless. Say amen to that. Amen. Okay. So I want us to settle that in our spirit there because when desire comes, it is a tree of life. It is a tree of life. The Bible also tells us that understanding is a tree of life that him that has it. Understanding. That's why it's important to come here to CRC because it's my job always to provide understanding to you. I don't want to come up here with pom-poms and just pump you up emotionally for a moment. I want to give you understanding of your life. I want to give you understanding of the Word of God, what works and how to work it and how to see it come to pass. But in any event, he goes on and says, whoso despises the Word shall be destroyed. If you despise the Word, if you neglect the Word, if you discard the Word, the Bible says your future is done in. There's got to be a love for the word of God. Because the scripture goes on and says, but he that feareth the commandments. You don't fear. Fear means to respect. Respect means to obey. Then when you obey the commandments of God in your life, the Bible says you're going to have rewards. And one thing that drives us obeying the commandments of God, I'm going to go to the house of God. I'm not feeling it today, but I'm still going to pray and I'm going to talk with the Lord and push myself in his presence. I'm still going to read the word. I don't feel like talking talking to this person right now, ministering to them, but God, you put me in their path, and I'm going to do that. The Bible says when you do that, the Bible, you're setting yourself up for reward. Reward. That's a beautiful thing within the kingdom of God, that God has a reward system. Everyone is not treated equally in the church. Don't ever treat everyone equally in your life. I had someone come to me, and they said, man, pastor, you know, You've got favorites. I told somebody that wasn't true, but this is what some people are saying. I go, well, go spread it and let them know I do have favorites. I'd be a fool if I didn't. Jesus didn't treat everybody the same. Jesus didn't treat his, his people that crowded him equally to the way he treated his apostles. Jesus didn't treat the stranger equally that he treated his disciples. No, as Jesus sowed his life into people and people responded to the investment, Jesus would reward them. You reward people in your life that appreciate you. You reward people in your life that invest in you. You reward people in your life that are considerate of what's important to you. You don't treat everybody the same. That's just a little nugget for life.